me just check the mic and stuff. Uh, <laughs> well, the hard work you do before a video testing everything. Uh. Hey guys, what's up? Holly Derica here, and I am back from Tokyo. Tokyo, Tokyo. Tokyo, Japan! And today, as many of you guys requested on my social media, I will do a Japan haul. Today, I'm going to show you what I bought in Japan. I will split it into different sections such as keychains and souvenirs, um, clothes, food, and whatever comes to mind. Make sure to stay tuned for more of my content. I miss making sit down videos like this because i've been doing vlogs a lot recently ever since and i need to spin up some content like this so make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up comment down below subscribe support and i don't know give some love <laughs> without further ado let's begin the haul by the first ever category begin by the clothes and from the clothes uh, um, most of it are jackets and the first jacket that I have today is this Disney Min Mickey Mouse uh, Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse hoodie and look at the hood itself it has Mickey Mouse can you see guys Mickey Mouse earrings and there's another one actually there's another sweatshirt with the hoodie and unfortunately I had it sent to laundry because I used it yesterday on the way home so I cannot show it to you guys but I did wear it during the last day of my Japan vlog you can just check it out there in this eye area you can just see it anywhere <laughs> And next one, a Don Quixote. Don Quixote in Asakusa. I bought myself and cannot resist buying these Gudetama slippers. Basically, home slippers. Look, like, look. Look at these babies. So, look at the inside. Here it is, as you can see. See? There you go. Oops. It's really hard when your camera is so inverted. And inside, let me. Inside, it's really soft. The, the reason I bought it is go to Tama and because it is really, really soft. Seriously, it's so soft. Next one is. I went back again to Don Quixote for the second time because we're going to buy a mallet for our souvenirs, for our bought stuff in for the things that we have bought in japan so next thing i cannot resist buying is this good hama hoodie again i bought a lot of hoodies basically because japan is basically winter season in the time i visited which you can see obviously because i always wore long ass sleeves and really thick clothing even though it's really cold i love cold and here it is this is the front. It has a good Thomas face on it. Here we go. And then at the back, this is him sleeping. This is him sleeping. Look. Basically me at college after a few years. Just kidding. But seriously. He's a mood. See? Next one, I will get it from my bag on the back. Because I forgot to bring it on here. So we'll be back. Okay. I'm back. This is considered clothing, right? This is considered clothing, masks. So I bought myself during Don Quixote time a cotton mask and they come in three colors. And they come in salmon pink, lavender, and also baby pink. And I mostly use here the baby pink. My mom used the salmon pink. And I hadn't used the lavender yet, actually. So maybe I'll use it soon in my future travels. Who knows? I also brought my two cousins since they love math so much. I brought them two. Two masks, which is gray. 
and I know how much they love this stuff so I bought them this stuff and also you can buy this at Don Quixote so if you're really curious on how I bought this stuff it's at around the second floor maybe near the cashier area on the second floor near the tax-free cashier the next one that I bought you already saw this on my vlogs it's this it's this hat right here look at the hat observe the hat Okay, here we go. This hat uh, is actually pretty soft. It's like Dalmatian 101. Maybe it's reference from Dalmatian 101. This from Tokyo Disneyland. I bought it at... There's a middle shop on the middle of the street thing in Tokyo Disneyland where they sell hats, different hats and different headbands for the masses. And these are usually common because it's really cold and they would need a hat. Ha ha! to keep themselves warm especially on the head part is this considered clothes uh yeah i'm not sure but i would consider this clothes maybe because you wear it so here i bought as well a fanny pack for my future travel so that i wouldn't invest my hard time wearing a backpack because it's a struggle like having the backpack at your back and then you have to swing it in front to get the stuff you wanted and then fill up right here she can see um, you wouldn't have a hard time anymore trying to swing it back to front because it's really hard so you just have to swing it right here and then as you travel when you need something you could just you could just um, open it there's another secret pocket here which is pretty fantastic see it's pretty fantastic and uh, yeah I actually match one with my cousin, my older cousin. He wears the black one and I had a white one because it's the only one remaining with a beautiful color. I love black and white accessories. That's why I'm sorry. I'm really soft for it. <sighs> now, the next part of the Tokyo haul for me is the food. Food, 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 food. Uh -huh. because the food is like very good and also uh, the things that I bought for my classmates and friends so many of them actually are very very sweet because that's the only thing I'm trying to fix this I'm so sorry okay. Okay. oh my god Oh, I kind of fix kanang camera mo how I make vlog amazing. Here are my candies and seaweeds that my classmates requested. Actually, two of my classmates requested seaweed, so I bought them seaweed. And let me show you guys the candies that I bought. So, first off, the first thing I saw was tiramisu chocolate, and tiramisu chocolate is one fun. Focusing. Oh, it's focusing good. Okay, here's the two ounces of chocolate. I bought two of them in case I wasn't able to buy more keychains. Next up, the thing that I bought next is mm, it comes the sweet, sweet, sweet candies. So these sweet candies are common different flavors, and they're pretty good. I rate them ten out of ten, actually. <laughs> and here is the first one. Time. And this is the second one. Pretty worth it. And this was request this was given to us by our tour guide named Miss Terry. Shout out to you, Miss Terry. And I tried to taste this rice krispies. These rice krispie treats. And they're actually pretty good actually when he showed it to us. story time although miss chica from the last episode she gave us these soy sauce candies and we tried to find them in don quixote find them in mini marts and we can we cannot find them the only time we can find them actually is near her house and we and it's it's kind of sad because i wanted to buy them so badly i, I mean so these candies are pretty really good and I want you guys to try it too. When you guys go to Japan, please try the soy sauce candy. It's so good. At first, you will feel weird because you're literally having soy sauce in solid form in your mouth. But 
As time goes on though, it is pretty good. Next up, Haribo. Happy Cola. So, so look at the babies. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. This is actually pretty common in most countries actually. The Coca-Cola gummies. But in Japan, it's really different. So, uh, we just had to buy it. We had to do it. Then. Japan is also known for hella seaweeds. I not just bought one seaweed. Two seaweed, but I bought three seaweeds. Three seaweeds. So here they are. Let me show it to you guys. They especially requested it be bought in Japan because Japan because one of my classmates actually shared that her share of seaweed is really expensive in her area. Plus, it is pretty far away. And now, next food is is this one. It's quite. Quite, quite quite interesting because these are actually these are sakura sakura cherry blossom jellies and look at look at them okay let's start from the top it's pretty amazing look when you shake it see you can see the sakura cherry blossom shake inside you can literally see it shake seriously see I actually bought this for me and a souvenir for my advisor because she is so special. She's very special to me, actually. She's very special to me. I will show you guys about the things that I bought in Meiji Shrine, which is one thing. And it's it's this kind of it's a, a it's a bag thing i'm not really sure what it's called i'm so sorry please educate me on it and this signifies soulness of the mind and body and i definitely need it because you know college and i need to be safe and sound in terms of mind and body and i also bought one from my advisor which means good fortune good health good luck everything I'm not sure if this is also from Meiji Shrine or the souvenir shop, but we bought a fan. Next one is anime merchandise. Since you all know I love anime, I am hashtag anime trash, game trash, whatever. I'm going to show it to you guys. I actually showed it on my Instagram story. You could just check it out on my social media, which is basically the same social media handle that I always use, Holoderica, on Instagram. You can check it out there. And also, it's on the Jap Japan 2019 highlight. You can just check it out. <laughs> now to the moment that I have always been waiting for, Japanese. Japanese anime animation haul and as well as some extra keychains that I bought specifically for myself. So let's begin first with the first thing I bought from the souvenir shop because in the souvenir shop, souvenir, souvenir shop they also sell haiku surprisingly. So I bought this file folder. I already have lots of file folders but I just can't stop buying them. Here is the front view, and also because it's Japan, because it's Tokyo, we get to see, really see Tokyo. And the back side are the Karasuno first years. Wait, am I pointing to Tuki? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Am I pointing to Tuki? Yep, there it is. Yep, I'm pointing to Tuki. Tuki, best boy. Um, in the same shop, I actually bought a keychain for my friend. If you know who you are, you know who you are. So I bought her this Tsuki keychain. Uh, to be honest, I have no idea who her fave is. But based on our conversations about Haikyuu, maybe her fave is Tsukishima. As well, actually. So, I bought her this Tsukishima keychain. Wait, am I, is this focusing? Focus! There we go, perfect. It's focusing. Here is the Q keychain. It's basically very festive. I actually bought this banana from the souvenir shop. The, re the, the sole reason that I buy this is because of the reaction face. Look at it. 
it's like the uwu emoji but really wide awake you know it's it's really cute and next up we went to akihabara to buy more anime merchandise that i cannot buy here in the philippines which is pretty horrible and pretty sucks but yeah i still get to buy merch here in the philippines but nothing is better done buying it exactly from the country where it is made the official merch i bought myself a final fantasy dissidia dissidia uh keychain actually final fantasy dissidia is one of my childhood games playing on my playstation portable and one of my favorite games is final fantasy 9 and i love the story of it i love zidane i love kuja unfortunately i couldn't buy my best villain boy who is kuja unfortunately i cannot find him he is so underrated please stand him i swear to god he deserves better but i bought his brother and the main main hero of the series of final fantasy 9 zidane tribal he is basically a actor for a certain troop there's also a lot of Kingdom Hearts, there's also a lot of Onion Knight, Cecil, Warrior of Light, um, Noctis, Lightning, etc. Actually, I'm not really a huge, as in a huge, huge, huge fan of a lot of Final Fantasy shows. But, you know, the city of Final Fantasy has what gotten me deeper, a little bit more deeper to Final Fantasy games, you know, and I kind of enjoy the Final Fantasy games actually just to walk through though. I do not have, unfortunately, the console to actually play the whole game but i think my brother has the ps4 to you know play final fantasy 13 especially with lightning i for i forgot i'm sorry please educate me if i don't know my lore <laughs> i am just supposedly not to let myself buy this merch but because it was my wish ever since i stand hype my ever since i stand hype my i always dream of buying a mochi like a mochi stuffed toy this is 2000 god damn it so i bought myself a samatoki auhitogi mochi keychain thingy look at my best hype mic boy who's a special boy my favorite hype mic boy who respects women get you a man that respects women and and respects his sister and mother life is not fair life is not daijobu here you go and also i love how squishy it is you know when you squish the boy he gets more cuter <laughs> see it's interesting it's like asmr <laughs> not exactly like asmr but feel type of asmr see it's squished next one is dopo dopo is actually my favorite matenuo boy and since matenuo is the champion stream the champion for clear skin seriously anyways we are going to continue so i bought myself a stamp pad of maten rose dopo kanunzaka here it is here it is let me focus this is the first area this is maten rose this is dopo kanunzaka he fumi is anami and jakurai jinkuji he's the leader he's a doctor he's a host and he is a tired salary man who just overworks every day which is a reference to you know japanese workers always having to overwork their lives just to get the salary they wanted which is pretty sad for japanese culture because I don't know. I just wanted people to know that Japanese culture is at something to be always the uh, the kawaii accent, the kawaii aesthetic because it's not just a subculture, it's technically also a nation and they also experience tiredness, you and me as well, you know. And that's what I learned when I entered in Japan. Japan is also a nation just like all of us. They also have bad days. They don't always smile because sometimes you will meet people who technically frown in your face or technically are like in a bad mood because they always slam truth slam stuff but don't worry they are working they're doing their best anyway sorry about ranting and being hashtag woke and political so here is the second one more dopo and more dopo and here is his quote the real world is much smaller than the imaginary and he has eye bags because as i said he overworks a lot and the reason that he's my favorite mountain room boy is because he deserves a lot of rest please give him a lot of rest i have the final um final purchase from my anime merchandise and it's during the time i literally rushed to buy this because it is 
the last time that I'll go to Akihabara, so I had no choice to buy but to buy this merch and it's official. So I bought myself best boy again. Yeah. So here is my best boy and he is like clinging to something. His clothes are trying to hold on and he's a dork. And he there's his keychain. Wait, focus. There we go, that's better. I, I was like rushing to the other side to get the Tsuki keychain and going back to the cashier just to buy this one because we were already at the paying time, you know? And I thought, hey, um, that's it. I'm going to buy this merch, all of them. And then suddenly I thought myself, I should buy a Tsuki. So I rushed to the other side where the hypnosis mic and the Haiku side were. Yes, they're literally across each other. Like if this is the Haiku side, this is the hypnosis mic side in front of them. So yeah. I literally rushed, <laughs> but at least it's worth it though. They bought the buy, no, the, the the thing that I bought is worth it. <laughs> so I'm such a meme right now. Okay, next I bought these stuff in um, in Rock's shopping mall in Asakusa, and I just can't help but buy this small little keychain. Let me just show it to you guys because I don't know if it's focusing or not. There we go. It's full of cute small birds. Next one is a panda with the letter E on it because obviously my first name is Erica. So uh, here, the cute, cute panda here. Actually, I forgot to show you guys more things from my Disneyland. Thingy. I think I'm just going to include my Disneyland merch. Anyways, I bought these two things that I'm going to show to you guys for my relaxation area in case my vacant in college is in three hours or more because it is just really tiring to just wait in, wait in the university for a whole time and it's hot and it's probably the reason why I get sick all the time. So here's the first one and it's a sandwich. With sandwich thingy with the uh, Mickey Mouse glove reference and it's like these are the sesame seeds this is the patty and this is the lettuce and it's the the, the white sides are the buns so let me show it to you guys it's really really cute and it's so big it's really big it's like a comfy pillow see it's like you could eat it but <laughs> sorry it's not edible it's just very squishy it's very cute and that's why it tempted it tempted me to buy this <laughs> Next one, I bought myself as well a Baymax, a Baymax plushie to hog with. So here is the cutie. Here we go. It literally has, literally, it literally has these holes inside where you can just shove your hands inside, and you could just keep yourself warm while hugging this boy. See. You could just do this every day. It's just really, really convenient, especially when you're just keeping yourself cold, warm. And in the Philippines, though, uh, it's always warm in the Philippines. It depends, though. But currently, though, in the Philippines, it's been very cold, as I have been told. Like, while I was in Japan, you know, Quezon City, Manila, Philippines have been very cold recently. So I gotta um, have this keep myself warm. And also, I'm the type of person when I lie down, I wanted to hug something. When I like type in my cell phone, I wanted my other hand to, you know, to hug something. <laughs> because I don't know. I just want to hug something. And second, it will prevent me from biting my nails a lot. Like, as you can see right now, my nails have really improved recently. I just wanted to share it to you guys. My nails have improved recently, but the other in the other side though, no. uh, I'm sorry. Um, in the other side, it just peeled off suddenly. The the polish peeled off suddenly, but yeah, I'm really proud of my progress. Although there is still more to, you know, calm. There's more to calm. The reason that there is still some there's some sugats or cuts is because of the cold weather. The cold weather caused you know the cuts in the middle part and in the thumb. And also, I forgot more anime merch that I bought. So this is a Naruto, Naruto, Naruto uh, <laughs> book martini, and here is the inside, the front. This is the back, which shows the possible designs for this. So I guess this can be also an unboxing because I want to, I wanted to save this actually. I don't want to open it yet because I want to show you guys what design I got and my reaction. 
and I wanted to have the Sharingan or the Akatsuki or maybe the minimalistic black keychain I mean keychain bookmark so let's see I hope it's the Akatsuki because the Akatsuki is literally my favorite Naruto group seriously I think they deserve better I think that they all have different purposes you know making the wrong decisions and stuff and not exact and uh, they have different sad past like, just think that they're the type of village you would sympathize with I personally think you'd feel bad for the Akatsuki once you dig deeper into the Naruto plot especially the sheep with them so this is the unboxing we're going to unbox okay let me see what I'm seeing so this is apparently the Oh sh! I got the Katsuki. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think this is a bookmark though, but it's like a um maybe something you would put on a thingy. Maybe it's like a poster thingy. But finally, I got the Katsuki. They're my favorite. Oh god. Let me try on how they feel. Oh, it's like it's like a cloth. It's like a cloth. It's like, you know, those things in where you wipe your glasses and stuff, maybe? I am not sure, but I'm so... <laughs> I was actually quite surprised because I was like picking all boxes, trying to test my luck and hoping to get the cloth I want or something. Because at first, I thought it was like a bookmark because of the size and the display that they showed. At first, I thought it was a bookmark, but I think it's just a tiny cloth, maybe handkerchief, who knows? But I got the Akatsuki, baby. I got it. I got the represent, baby. Good, it's focusing. Okay. The last thing that I bought, and it's for my advisor. It's in this box, and I don't want to open it because her, my advisor will just open it. But it is a scroll of of Japan. Not except it's like Japan Japanese art, and it's in a tiny scroll, and it's in this inside this box. I don't want to show it to you. Because, not exactly that I don't want, but, you know, it it would spoil the meaning of a gift if I don't really keep it clean for my advisor. And she's my advisor! I have a lot as well for my teachers, no worry. The last thing that I took home with me is this set of, like, bird origamis, which are by... Our tour guide's friend, who is really good at origami. Origami is a really famous culture, a really famous type of art in Japan. And I cannot believe it's still a part of their culture, you know? It's, and also, origami is a pretty amazing culture. Ever since we were young, we always learned how to origami when we were kids until now, actually. When, we were, when my classmates are young, when we are young, you know, in our high school, origami was a thing we always folded papers and made a lot of stuff made airplanes made cranes made boats maybe even that one two three game or a lot of things you know and these are usually placed in a thread and uh, here it here is the whole set if you guys fool is because there's a lot and i want it for the next part of my vlog i mean the whole and the last part is electronics part So now I'm going to show you guys the electronics that I brought from there because usually electronics in Japan are really stable and adorable. Being the careless person I am, I would break three chargers, three power bank chargers maybe in one month or two or maybe more but usually in one week though if usually in one week I would destroy it already. Because I just don't know how to take care of it properly. I'm so sorry. Please don't kill me. Please don't cringe at me. I'm an embarrassment. But anyways, I bought myself two extra power and sync USB cables. And they come in black and white. First one. And the second one. And the next one is the cable bike. It's a cable accessory for my charger. And also, it's like a protector thingy in case, you know, it's going to bend again, it's going to break and stuff. And I find it really cute. 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 Really, really cute. It's for a charger. Like you would, 
If this is the wire, you put it in and then stuff. So I have here the Adidas Pure Bounce Plus that I got from the Rocks Mega Mall. Actually, it's not Rocks Mega Mall. It is Rocks Mall in Asakusa during the day five. And here are my shoes. Actually, it was supposed to be my mom's, but it didn't fit her. So she gave them to me. So thank you, mom. <laughs> This is the case of my new glasses from Jeans Eyewear. I chose the gray one because I love the design like a bunny. And here is how I open it. As you can see, the inside has their logo, Jeans, and their glasses with the heart, eyes, and it's like a puppy. And as you can see, this is the complete set with the manual, everything, prescriptions, my wiper, and last but not least, my glasses itself. As you can see, it's very rustic. Next, I have now my new watch by Baby G. Here is the box. And let's unbox this baby. So, we're going to flip it open like this. And, ooh, as you can see, there is a pink sachet thingy, like a sachet bag or something inside. And we're going to unopen it. And here is the watch itself. As you can see, it is very white and kind of rose gold. And she can turn on the lights. Look at that, baby. Here's the last thing on my forgotten stuff to show. And here is a keychain from Kawaguchi Ko. And this literally means beauty. So I thank you guys so much for the support on my Japan related videos and related vlogs. So make sure to give this video. Make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you guys for being all my beautiful, wonderful, sexy, airy enthusiasts. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. And I am not sure when the next vlog will be, but maybe it will be a video project again because I'll be hella busy. Also guys, 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 I am going to Troy Sivan's Bloom Tour on May 1. I always wanted to see Troy Sivan. So I will, you know, see him in person, in VIP standing. If you want us to meet me in VIP standing, you can just meet me there. Call at me. Take a picture with me. Who knows? Um, I, I also will also put you in my vlog. <laughs> and I will see you guys now. That's the end of my announcement. I'm so rambling right now. But I will see you guys in the next video. And kisses well. Bye.